a pediatric resident at a busy hospital, Dr. Cheryl Chun knew she'd be on her feet all day. But one night, she awoke with a sharp pain in her hip and knew then that something wasn't right. I had um, pain in my hip that was just terrible. I couldn't find a position where I was comfortable. I couldn't sleep. I tried everything I could think of, and it was, it was still really bad. What doctors found was a tumor that was so large, it had wrapped itself around her hip joint. The diagnosis, chondrosarcoma, a rare form of bone cancer. Dr. Robert Henshaw specializes in ortho-oncology. In fact, he's one of the few physicians in the Washington, D.C. region specializing in this field. He knew that removing Dr. Chun's tumor was going to be challenging. Because they grow in the extremities, say uh, around the knee, for instance, uh, or around the pelvis, as they grow, they rapidly uh, start to uh, push against a lot of critical anatomic structures like blood vessels and nerves. So it makes the surgery very challenging. Not only was the tumor difficult to see, but it was affecting her vessels and muscles. Dr. Henshaw used a computer-assisted navigation system that loads images from a patient's MRI and CT scan to make a 3D model of the affected area. The technology helped him determine precisely where the cut should be made. In cases particularly where the tumors are very large or if they're very close to, say, the hip joint or to the sacrum, uh, we sometimes need to make much more precise cuts, even down to millimeter accuracy. In order to try to save her hip joint, we really had to be very careful where we would make our plan for cutting through the pelvis. By using special instruments that communicate with the computer screen, much like a GPS, surgeons can create a pre-op plan that helps them make cleaner cuts and avoid damaging neighboring muscle tissue. We can then manipulate and plan our surgery, but more importantly, so I can take a probe and point to a, any given location and the computer will tell me exactly where I am relative to our preoperative planning. For Dr. Chun, the operation helped preserve her ability to walk. She was back to work within three months. She started with crutches, then a cane, and now she walks without assistance. She continues therapy and is grateful to Dr. Henshaw and his expertise. It is going well, you know, coming off the cane was a big milestone, um, and now we're working on things like running and jumping and things that, you know, before the surgery we weren't even sure that I was gonna be able to do. Mm -hmm.